Welcome back, everybody. And this is the Final Fantasy VII uh, Let's Play commentary from the Lightstream.net. And I lied about that TV in Sector 5 saying something interesting. I just looked it up, and it doesn't. It's, uh, it just says parts of Midgar will temporarily be out of power. I think what I found interesting about it was it's the only mention I've ever seen of the Sector 5 explosion. You only ever hear about Reactor 1. Ah, oh, the playground. Apparently this is a date. Apparently. Yes. But then again, they also specifically decided to make it uh, mean something significant to Zack and Aerith 2 in Crisis Core, so... Mm -hmm. Although, well, I, was, I was surprised with everything else that they made near exactly that Zack and Aerith didn't sit on the slide. Yeah, that... That, I was surprised they never did. I was really expecting that. I was more expecting that than having Zack fall through the roof, really. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, I mean, they, they took every other step to piss in the uh, the shipper cornflakes. They might as well have done that one. Um, then again, there was a lot of, you know, crisis core that seemed like it didn't make it in. So, you know, if they ever did a, a complete version of it, they might have uh, added that in. <laughs> Now with twenty percent, you know, seventy percent more plot <laughs> that doesn't involve Genesis. Everybody now rushes to buy it. Oh yeah, sell like crazy. Hey guys, Pixel here. I figured I'd just butt in here just to um, give you a little preview of something I've been working on. Um, enjoy. I can't believe it's still here. What rank were you? Rank? You know, in Soldier. Oh. I was... First class. Just the same as him. Just the same as who? My first boyfriend. You were... Serious? No. We weren't serious, but I liked him for a while. I probably knew him. What was his name? It doesn't really matter. Warp! <laughs> Chocobo drawn carriage. Yeah. That turns on a dime! Oh yeah! <laughs> can barely see her looking the other direction. Whoa, Tifa! <laughs> I know. He's got like a spidey sense for Tifa. My boob senses are tingling. <laughs> I do like how he hangs his head after he just, he just ignores right. him. Ah. <laughs> I too for the win, folks. I too for the win. That's all you have to say. I love this song. Yeah. The wool market music is, is just great. FF7 reggae. Yeah. There's so much more Japanese writing in Midgar than there is in the rest of the world. Anywhere else? Yes. Yeah. I guess it's supposed to be Tokyo-ish. It's very Blade Runner is the sort of thing, and the interesting thing about Blade Runner was that even though it was, um, you know, California, there was so much kanji everywhere. Yeah. So they're really trying to get that is that aesthetic where everything is neon kanji. And I like that the kanji on the doors to Honeybee Manor is the kanji for woman, which is very misleading considering what's actually in there. <laughs> well, there are women in there, but... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> then there's also Mookie. <laughs> Johnny trying to work up some courage Nerf. in the corner there, yeah. Yeah. And I do like the kanji on the wrestling. It's just, men, men, men. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> He's not into men, or so he says. <laughs> this is such an iconic portion of this game. Of course, I worked here now. <laughs> uh, first, we need to find out if this is alright. Priority one. Ah, and Aerith reveals her perverted side. <laughs> what? <laughs> With the exclamation and the question point, so you know he yelled that so entire, the entire, uh, Sector 5 could hear it. <laughs> I was kind of picture Eric just pulling him around the wall market by his arm this whole part. Oh, so yeah. Running from building to building, holding his arm, dragging him along. <laughs> uh, or his collar, or his... Yeah. You know, <laughs> just yanking him. Here, put this on, put this on, put this wig on. Here, take these panties. <laughs> What's the problem? It's the RPG fetch quest. That's the problem. Yes. Could be worse. Oh no, this one's fine. It's just yeah. classic. Here, do this for me, and I'll do it for you. But to do this, you have to go to this person. Um, one of uh one of my favorite very old games, Breath of Fire Two. Roughly half the game is actually a one gigantic fetch quest. <laughs> you actually get the plot in the course of completing the fetch quest. Um, then you complete the fetch quest by catching the person you need to catch to clear your buddy's name, and at that point you basically realize, oh, crap, things are not nice now. Really drunk. But all really, he, really drunk. And all he does is spin around. Yeah. And I love the guy waiting for the bathroom up in the corner there. Yeah. A tough looking guy like that. <laughs> well. That's kind of hilarious considering everything. Tough looking um, pretty boy like that? Yeah. Well, yeah, actually, you know. Maybe he's right, it's just like, Cloud isn't, like, he doesn't look like he could take you in a fight, but maybe he looks like he could take a truck to the face and live. Yeah, I mean, he does, have, he does have a giant freaking sword on his back. Yeah. That we just can't see. Amusing how much this this game this section of the game has inspired bizarre like fandom jokes and you know, <laughs> know he shakes uh, his head. running gags and the way she calls him like even that. flash games it's bizarre yeah oh yes <laughs> the clothes changing uh, noise sound. yes the three chop 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 Trot, trot. Whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, she's trying to get a look at Pinora. What else do you think? I always like this. That, uh, Cloud says. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the hell, you say. Like you? What did you tell him? One thing I've, uh, wondered about this section, and it does get into the bit we cannot see his sword, and it's been parodied many a time, like in uh, the RPG comic, uh, or adventure comic, or whatever the heck that was called way back in the day. But 
Where does he hide his equipment? <laughs> yeah, I know. I remember when I wrote the first act of FF7 for an English class project that I didn't feel like coming up with anything original for. I remember just having him stash all that stuff, all his stuff in the junk in the front of Corneo's house. That makes some sort of sense. Except he then has to go get it, which he yeah. doesn't, but whatever. Because I actually went with the he picks Tifa just because Cloud in the room with all the men was is amusing. Yes. <laughs> He's definitely going for the uh, cloud gets picked. Oh, yeah, if he's going, if, he, if he's getting the tiara, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess he's. Yeah. Never mind. Ah, uh, the item store. <laughs> Bizarre place. Just with a Gatling gun on the ceiling. Well, doesn't your local item shop have one? I thought they were standard. At least in Detroit, you know. <laughs> I don't know about uh, your your neck of the woods, but you see Robocop, that wasn't that wasn't science fiction. That's how they live. <laughs> the real question is, why do you have a diamond tiara in your shop, dude? 